So this is what you can do um, if you would play up and down the third string, playing only the white dots. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> and I suppose it's your birthday today, isn't it? Okay, how appropriate. Okay, so now to some limitation exercises. So what we get is, we get the third string open, the orange A, then what we need to concentrate on is the C, because this is what happens most of the time with these chords, they're, they're, they're on C. The B happens very quickly and then it goes back onto C, so um, we just need to go to C. Then it can go to D, slide up to E, back to the C. And what's also cool is to play the, the fourth string open D. So that's the sound. Um, it has this it has this D minor ninth chord sound. Okay, then um, you get you get the same sound sound starting on G um, in the twelfth box. So you get G and A to the C, So those are the limitation uh, areas for uh, G mixolydian. G mixolydian. And um, now you can play um, E Phrygian instead of on the first string. And in this area, you can now play it here in the uh, ninth box. So you've got uh, an E Phrygian sound in the ninth box playing here, playing your limitation exercise. Then we've got um, C Ionian, the C major scale. Normally we would play it here. But now you can play it uh, on C in the, fifth, in the tenth box. Uh, sorry, the fifth box. Fifth box, C, third string. Uh, C Ionian. Uh, C major scale. Stopping on the B for the chord. limitation exercises. Now we can have a look at triads because now we've got three notes one, two, three in one box and uh, if you play three notes at the same time you can call them a triad. Uh, it's not a Chinese gang it's um, if you play the letter A 
and you say B and then C, so you've got three letters involved. A, B, C. A, B, C. Then you start on C. C, D, E. C, D, E. Three letters involved. So if you play A, B, C, D, E, that's a triad. That's an arpeggio. You, you're breaking up the chord. And that's the chord if you play them together with your fingers at the same time. So like this. First string, second string. So if we start, um, because we're playing the white dots, it is always appropriate to start on C, which is here, on the third string. And we play C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, F, G. C, E, G. If you play that, you've got a C triad. Now, one letter up from C is D. D, E, F, G, A. D, E, F, G, A. A D F A that's a that's your D triad now this chord is this shape so you're having these two fingers um, tucked in on top of each other where here you've got on each fret a different finger. It's a different shape. This is a major shape. This is a minor shape. So this makes it D major. This makes it D minor. So I'm playing a black key here, an F sharp, F, F sharp, a black key, a black key. This is F major, a D major, D major, D major. This is D minor. C major, C minor, but we want to play only the white dots, so we've got C major, D minor, he gets he get the same shape, E minor, E, F, G, A, B, E, F, G, A, B, E, G, B, minor, major, minor, D minor, E major. One fret up, you get F. F, A, C. F, A, C. That's the major shape. C, E, G. C major. F, A, C. F major. He get the same shape. G major, G, B, D, G major, F major, E minor, D minor, C major. And this is how the sequence would go. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. Again, you get, you get two minors, minor, minor, you get two majors, major, major. One minor on the outside, one major at the beginning. So you get major, minor, minor, major, 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 major, minor, minor, major. Then you can arpeggiate them, so you go with your pick and you do this. You place your pick onto the onto the um, uh, third string. Then you go to the next shape and you play with the pick from the first string. 
playing up. Then you play down again. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Nice little exercise.